anti-Semitism cannot be ignored, cannot be tolerated, and it cannot be allowed to continue. It must be confronted and condemned everywhere. It rears its very ugly head. That was a president yesterday. 11 people shot to death and more injured by an anti-Semitic gunman screaming, Jews must die in a Pittsburgh synagogue as he opened fire during Sabbat prayer services. Johnny Daniels is president of From the Depths, a group aimed at teaching future generations lessons of the Holocaust. He joins us now. It's Shabbat. Sorry, I, I, I yeah. butchered it. Uh, talk to us about when you see something like this in Pittsburgh. What does it mean to you? I mean, you know, I, I, I've got to start by, by obviously expressing my condolences to the families and to the community. But it was just such a horribly tragic thing to happen. You know, this is people who are going to worship in synagogue. They're going with their families, they're going with their kids. I go every Shabbat with my children to the synagogue. And the, the notion that a crazed man can come in and open fire and, and, and brutally murder so many people is just so horrendous. And, and watching this around the world, you know, and, and seeing this hatred that's happening here, you know, this isn't this isn't what we want to see, and this is oh, horrifying for he, us all. He, he may have been a cra he was crazy at some level, but he also had hate in his heart Absolutely. for Jews. I mean, where, where does this anti-Semitism continue to come from? Well, look, I mean, I, I think that anti-Semitism, as we know, is an epidemic that's across the world, and, you know, we, we're seeing it on the rise today in Europe. You know, we're seeing countries like Germany and, and, and France and Belgium and Sweden, countries that are really not that safe to be Jewish anymore. You know, I'm originally from the United Kingdom, where we could potentially elect an anti-Semite as a head of a political party. You know, this is very, very, very problematic and scary at the moment. And we are seeing a rise. We're seeing a rise in hate speech, and we're seeing a rise in anti-Semitic rhetoric. And I think a lot of this has to do with social media and a, a lack of willing of certain social media sites to combat these kinds of hate speech mm -hmm. but we all all have to stand together against any kind of racism or bigotism or whatever it may be you you, you run an organization from the depths committed to remembering what happened in the past how much of forgetting our history contributes to this new rise in anti-semitism well you know again i'm dealing on a, on a daily basis in in sort of eastern europe and, and in different countries and we're seeing the messages of these past and you're seeing these lessons you know, we work with Holocaust survivors and, and the righteous, those who saved Holocaust survivors. And you hear these stories again and again. And you see that the, the, that the, the anti-Semitism started on a rise and it wasn't combated strongly enough. And I think that what we're seeing now and this hate speech ultimately does lead to death. And, and this really needs to be fought against. For people against. that don't have an ounce of anti-Semitism in their heart, right. Where does that come from? Where, where, where does this reoccurring desire to point to the Jews and say, you're evil? Where does it come from? Well, I mean, look, unfortunately, a lot of it is, is educational. And a lot of it is, is, you know, institutional. You know, in a lot of countries, there is most definitely institutional anti-Semitism. And uh, historically, Jews have been a scapegoat, right? So if something goes wrong in a country, you're going to blame a minority, as we often see. Mm. And the minority in... Europe often happened to be the Jew, and, and this unfortunately continued. And this whole notion that, that you know, that this control and all of this stuff, that yeah. this is so much of this hatred that is just so unnecessary. Well, it's scary that, we're, that you once again we're revisiting this in Europe, the place that just seven, seven decades ago uh, committed these heinous, heinous acts. Johnny Daniels, president of From the Depths, you're keeping the Holocaust alive, making sure people remember it. Uh, today's is a, an important reminder of that as well. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Appreciate it. Good stuff.